how to use the new global edit feature in Illustrator. Now, first thing to do, is I'm not going to show every feature of the global edit, and of course you can use it in obviously multiple artboards and all those sort of things. That would be for another video. But first thing to do, I'm just going to create a straight line, very basic straight line, and the key panel here is properties and start global edit. You can just see it there, and it will come up with a thing. Just got one. It will do nothing. So you basically you need multiple copies of that part. So I'm just going to just use the Alt Option key and just generate multiple copies. So you can just see a couple of copies being added there. And once you've got those, what you can do then, just select there and just go back to that properties and start global edit. And then just move that out. You can see straight away you get these boxes appear and you can see all the other parts that were exactly the same suddenly all move exactly the same way as the first one you're moving. So you can resize the size there, you can just make it slightly bigger, the stroke width, uh, weight, and change the colour, just go there and make it black. There's a number of other options you can also use. You can use obviously go to stroke and maybe set to uh, give it a width profile and those sort of things. So I'm just gonna now first thing to do just click there and you go over to curvature tool just basically create curves. Just go there and it will follow the curve all the way around. So you can just go backwards and forwards and you can create some really nice sort of track designs, wave designs, just very quickly by using that feature curvature tool or of course the pen tool, etc. You can just go and use other tools as well. So you can just go around and create some nice little spiral designs there eh? very quickly using this new feature in Illustrator, the global edit. And you can see that design there. Maybe not a very good start point, but anyway, you can certainly see the general sort of drift of how you can actually make the lines nicely flow and spiral around. And I'm just gonna there, continue on there. You just obviously do create a whole range of different designs, just backwards and forwards, just by using that. And stop at that point. And you can change the size. You can also change the go to stroke and you can use width profiles. And so probably other things like dots as well. You can go hold different things. You can dashes and those sorts of things. So that's a great feature. You can stop it very quickly by clicking that stop global edit. That's a key thing. So you can also use new, like the new diffusion gradient feature. You can use the there. You can create a circle just there. And just going to create one there. I'm going to put some colour into that, so I'll make it like red or something. And once you've done that, I'm just going to use again the Alt option, duplicate the design. So once you've actually got copies of it, what you can do then, just go back over to the properties, click that Start Global Edit, and you can then just resize, so you can resize, rotate the designs. So you can squeeze them, and you can see them all changing. They're all identical, and also you can obviously just add an arc or pie slice into the design as well, resize that very quickly and easily. You can go to other tools, obviously stars, rectangles, and many other designs. There's some won't, won't work, things like images and type also, they don't work with the global edit, which is a pity, but anyway, I'm just gonna go with the, there, yeah, and you can see you can just create a few copies of that, and you can use features such as the corners, etc. Well, I hope you found this of interest, and like I said, I'll do more videos later about this uh, new great feature. Thank you much.